Anne Ogden Gaffney and welcome to the Cook for Your Life YouTube channel. Today um, I'm going to be making zucchini uh, with mint. Now this is a really fabulous uh, summer kind of salad dish. I'm just getting the zucchini ready. Now I like to cut out all the, the middle part because it's all seeds. If you can see this part here is all seeds and in the smaller zucchini, like these guys here, I mean, they can, they're not so prominent, but in the bigger ones you really must do this because there's a lot of water in there. So, I am just chopping these out, but there's also another very good reason for doing this, as you will see. Now, it gives me a nice flat surface to cut the zucchini into sticks. So I'm just going to cut them into uh, three, four. We want them. We want them like this. And I've got a whole bunch here which I already cut. Now we're going to actually sauté these. Now we're going to sauté them with some scallions. I've got some cut here, but I'm just going to show you how I cut them. So, just took off the little root end. And we only want the whites for this because these are the tenderest parts. And then you just literally Okay, that's it. Alright, so let's go to the stove with everything. I'm just putting in the olive oil. Now there's not very much here and so I'm going to immediately put in the scallions. Not all of them, we don't need all of that. And I'm just going to give them a quick stir and as soon as they start to soften I'm going to be putting in the zucchini. will help draw the water out. Okay, let's go and chop that mint up. So we've got mint and parsley. Now, one of the things that's really interesting about parsley, and this I'm talking about the, you know, the Italian flat leaf parsley, is that it's a very good kind of base for a lot of other flavors. It'll, it kind of takes up the flavors of other herbs. So for example if you mix it with mint and basil, it's, you're going to taste the mint and basil not the parsley. Now you can chop them separately if you like but why do it twice is what I say. Now we're going to put in about twice as much so what I will do is just and with mint you really just want the leaves. It's really easy to grow in a window box or in your garden because it's essentially a weed. If you have it in your garden it will take over but you could, it just will, if you do it in a pot in your window so it will just come back year after year and you'll notice it puts out runners you'll notice that they'll go round and round and round and round and round the pot until they have it okay the easiest way to do it I find is to boil everything up and this is just to get your first cut because it gives you more to cut through Then after that, classic way, keep your hand on the tip of a knife and then just move your arm up and down. Okay, that's uh, oh, a bigger pizza. Okay, 